Drones are everywhere, filling the sky above our heads. Hundreds of thousands doing dozens of trips a day, delivering food, post, monitoring the city and the air. And with more flying, there will be more falling. Many drones are lost and the remains just thrown away. What if we could design a structure that could survive this impact, protect the rotors, the brain, and even the payload? This is our future structure. Consider a plastic straw. It can be bent quite easily with one hand, but try to pull or crush it along its length and it will be a lot more difficult. Tensegrity structures utilize this principle. They contain rigid members under compression that are connected by contiguous members in tension, allowing us to create a structure that's both lighter and stronger. Past work on protecting drones has focused on creating a protective shell around the drone, but we propose making the drone itself more compliant and crash resistant. We call these structures tensegrity drones. We are a group of design engineers at Imperial College London. Over the last few months, we've been testing our ideas to find the optimum configuration. This includes creating an algorithm that is able to rapidly iterate through different tensegrity designs and simulate an impact. Using rapid prototyping, we constructed a number of configurations with laser cut acrylic and rubber bands. To then confirm the findings, we dropped these models down a stairway, capturing their impacts in slow motion so we could analyze their deformation. An icosahedron proved to be the best possible structure. Normally, this shape has 30 edges, but for our design, we found it improved the crash resistance by only having 24. The gap left in the middle of the six rigid members is an ideal space for the payload or any necessary electronics. The batteries could be stored in the center of the rigid members. Meanwhile, to keep the structure rigid during flight, the members in tension could be made from nitinol, which can change from a rigid material to a flexible material with a simple change in temperature. But these are future developments.